In this video, we will describe the computation of indices related to the evaluation of farm production performance in a pig farm. But before that, let's review a typical pig production cycle. So production cycle includes first the breeding time or time of service, which could be in the form of natural mating as shown in the picture or through the use of artificial insemination. After a successful service, the sow or gilt proceeds to the period of gestation which takes about 114 days or 3 months, 3 weeks, and 3 days. After which, the pregnant female will give birth or farrow, then followed by a lactation period of about 28 to 30 days. After the lactation period, weaning takes place wherein the sow is separated from its piglets and transferred to the breeding pen where the sow spends its dry period of about 7 days and is conditioned for the next breeding time. Meanwhile, in a fattener hog production cycle, piglets spawn with about 1.5 to 2 kg birth weight each are allowed to suckle in their dam for about 28 to 30 days or until they reached about 7 to 8 kilograms each. Then their dam, the sow, is weaned or separated from them in preparation for the next breeding. From the day of weaning, the piglets undergo the rearing period of about 30 days or until they reach around 15 to 20 kg live weight each when they are about 58 to 60 days old. After the rearing period, the pigs undergo the fattening period for about 90 to 150 days or until they reach the desired market weight of about 80 to 90 kilograms at the age of 148 to 210 days old. Basically, swine farms are classified based on the stages of the animal life cycle described previously into which the farm management is involved in too. First is the farrow to finish farm. This farm is involved in the managing all stages of pig growth and development, that is from breeding of sows or gilts through finishing until their offspring, the slaughter animals, reach the desired market weight. Next is farrow to nursery farm. This farm manages stages of production from breeding of sows or gilts until their offspring slaughter animals reach 15 to 20 kg live weight. Another is farrow to wean farm. This farm breeds sows or gilts, then raises the offspring piglets until they are weaned at about 7 to 8 kg live weight. Next is wean to finish farm. This farm is involved in purchasing 7 to 8 kg weaned pigs from farrow to wean farm and raise these pigs until they reach the desired market weight. Then the finishing farm that buys 15 to 20 kg pigs from farrow to nursery farms and raise these animals until they reach the desired market weight. Now, let's describe the computation of important production performance parameters in sows. First is the litter index. Litter index is described as the frequency of farrowings or number of liters a sow had in a year. It is determined by three key factors, namely length of pregnancy, length of lactation, and the dry period. Among these three parameters, gestation period is relatively constant while the length of lactation and dry period may vary depending on the readiness of the piglets for weaning in terms of immunity levels and maturity of the digestive system, as well as the fertility and readiness of the sow for the next breeding. A typical sow production cycle includes a 114-day gestation period, 21-30-day to 30 day lactation period, and 3-7-day to 7 day dry period, giving a production cycle of about 138-151 to 151 days. The shorter the production cycle is, the better, as sows would have higher frequency of farrowing or higher number of liters as the production cycle decreases. Liter index is calculated as 365 days in a year divided with the production cycle in days. Production cycle in here may also be represented as the interval between two consecutive farrowings in days, such that a sow which had 114 days gestation period 
30 days lactation period, and 7 days dry period with a production cycle of 151 days would have a litter index of 2.42. This means that the sow farrowed 2.42 times in a year. Next parameter is the number of services per liter, which refers to the calculated average number of inseminations, either artificial or natural, per incidence of farrowing. It is calculated as total number of services divided by the total number of liters. For example, 18 services which resulted to 12 liters or farrowings give an average of 1.5 services per liter. Next is the number of piglets born per liter, which is also described as the average liter size or the number of piglets born in a farrowing time. It is calculated as total number of piglets born divided by the total number of liters or farrowings from which these piglets are produced. For example, if there were 120 piglets born from 12 liters, the average number of piglets born per liter is 10 piglets. Next is number of stillborn piglets per liter, which refers to the average number of piglets born dead in per liter basis. It is calculated as the total number of stillborn piglets divided by the total number of liters from which these dead piglets were born. For example, if there were 3 dead piglets born from 12 liters, the average number of stillborn piglets per liter is equal to 3 divided by 12 equals 0.25 head. Next is the number of piglets born alive per liter, which is the average number of piglets born alive in per liter basis. It is calculated as total number of piglets born alive divided by the total number of liters or farrowings from which these alive piglets are produced. For example, if there were 117 piglets born alive from 12 liters, the average number of piglets born alive per liter is equal to 117 divided by 12 equals 9.75 piglets. Next parameter is the percent per weaning mortality. This refers to the proportion of piglets that died prior to weaning out of the total number of piglets born alive. It is calculated as total number of piglets died before weaning divided by the total number of piglets born alive multiplied by 100%. For example, if there are 117 piglets born alive and 10 of these piglets died prior to reaching the time of weaning, Percent per weaning mortality is calculated as 10 divided by 117 multiplied by 100% equals 8.55%. Next parameter is the number of piglets weaned per liter. This refers to the average number of piglets that survive the pre-weaning stage in per liter basis. It is calculated as total number of piglets weaned divided by the total number of liters from which these weaned piglets are produced. For example, if there were 107 piglets weaned from 12 liters or farrow wings, then the average number of weaned piglets per liter is calculated as 107 divided by 12 equals 8.92. Next parameter is the number of fatteners produced per liter. This refers to the average number of pigs that survived the fattening period and reached the market weight in a per liter basis. It is calculated as total number of fattened pigs harvested divided by the total number of liters from which these harvested fatteners are produced. For example, if there were 105 fatteners harvested from 12 liters, then the average number of fatteners produced per liter is 105 divided by 12 equals 8.75. Next parameter is the total number of liters per year, which refers to the total number of farrowings that occurred in a per year basis. It is the product of sow level and the liter index. For example, a 5 sow level farm that have 2.4 liter index would have a total number of liters per year of 5 times 2.4 equals 12 liters. Given the calculated values in per liter basis, 
The total number of services, piglets born, piglets born alive, stillborn piglets, piglets weaned, and fatteners produced in per year basis can be computed as calculated value in per liter basis multiplied by the sow level then multiplied by the litter index. Alternatively, per year basis can also be computed as calculated value in per liter basis multiplied by the total number of liters or farrowings in a year. The total number of liters or farrowings in a year is the product of sow level and litter index as described previously. For example, in a 5 sow level farm with 2.4 liter index and calculated values for number of services, piglets born, stillborn piglets, piglets born alive, piglets weaned, and fatteners produced in per liter basis of 1.5, 10, 0.25, 9.75, 8.92, and 8.75 respectively. Therefore, per year basis for this parameter is calculated as number of services per year is equal to 1.5 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 18, number of piglets born per year is equal to 10 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 120, number of stillborn piglets per year is equal to 0.25 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 3, number of piglets born alive per year is equal to 9.75 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 117, number of piglets weaned per year is equal to 8.92 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 107, and number of fatteners produced per year is equal to 8.75 times 2.4 times 5 is equal to 105. Meanwhile, per sow per year basis of the performance indices can be calculated as the calculated value in per year basis divided by the sow level such that 5 sow level farm with calculated values for number of services, piglets born, stillborn piglets, piglets born alive, piglets weaned, and fatteners produced in per year basis of 18, 120, 3, 117, 107, and 105 respectively, Therefore, has 3.6 services per sow per year, 24 piglets born per sow per year, 0.6 stillborn piglets per sow per year, 23.4 piglets born alive per sow per year, 21.4 piglets weaned per sow per year, and 21 fatteners produced per sow per year. Now, let's describe the computation of performance indices related to fattening hogs. First parameter is the percent post-weaning mortality. This refers to the proportion of pigs that died prior to marketing or harvest out of the total number of pigs weaned. It is calculated as total number of pigs that died after weaning until before harvest divided by the total number of pigs weaned multiplied by 100%. For example, if there were 107 weaned pigs and two of them died before the time of harvest, percent post weaning mortality is calculated as 2 divided by 107 times 100% equals 1.87%. Next parameter is gain in weight. This refers to the increase in weight of the fattener from the start until the end of fattening period. It is calculated as the difference between the initial weight at the start of the fattening period and the final weight or the market weight at the end of the period. For example, a fattener that has an initial weight of 15 kg and weight 100 kg at the end of the fattening period has a gain in weight of 85 kg. Next parameter is average daily gain or ADG. ADG is a measure of growth rate of the animal and is described as the average weight gained by the pig on a daily basis during the fattening period. It is calculated as gaining weight in kilograms divided by the number of fattening days. For example, ADG of a fattener that gained 85 kilograms during the 140-day fattening period is calculated as 85 kilograms divided by 140 days equals 0.61 kg. Another parameter is feed conversion ratio. Feed conversion ratio or FCR is a measure of efficiency 
and is described as the kilogram of feed consumed by the animal per kilogram gain in weight. It is calculated as amount of feed consumed in kilograms divided by the gain in weight in kilograms. For example, FCR of a fattener that gained 85 kilograms and consumed 250 kilograms of feeds during the period is calculated as 250 kilograms divided by 85 kilograms equals 2.94. This means that the animal was able to gain a kilogram of weight for every 2.94 kilograms of feed it consumed. This ends our discussion on calculating performance indices related to swine production. <music>